Revenge Films. Dad was telling me about our family vacation. Where we were going, when we were going, what we were going to eat, the usual. I was in elementary school at the time. I was so excited. I still remember telling my mom how excited I was the day before. On the day of the vacation, my grandma and Anna on my dad's side showed up. Then my dad said, See ya! Mom and I were ready to go, all packed and everything. We had no idea what he meant by that. Then... Wait, you guys are coming too? What? You said it was a family vacation. What? I was talking about my family. My mom and my sister. You're not family. What? Of course we are. My sister flipped out. I started crying. My sister was complaining saying that dad planned everything without asking us anything, but... He wasn't even going to take us with him. Who would have thought? And although I was too young to know it at the time, my grandma and aunt were really mean to my mom. Now that I think about it, they always told me how bad my mom was at everything. Your mother, she's such a slacker. She once spilled soup on the table, so I just thought that was what they were talking about. And that's all they talked about for years. So I just thought they were really boring people. I didn't think much else of it. And even when my mom and sister complained to dad, It's probably your fault. That's all he said. He was always like this. So when she learned that he was planning a trip for us, she thought he'd changed for the better. And so did my sister. That's why they didn't say anything, even though dad went ahead and planned everything himself. But he wasn't even going to take us, and he told us that we weren't family. I still remember how upset I was when he told me all those things, but my sister had enough. Right after she got a job, she left home. She often talked to mom about getting a divorce, but... Ellie needs a father figure. She's still young. I didn't think much of it at the time, but now that I think about it, I think she was just using me as an excuse. But my sister didn't want to leave me in a house with a dad who says, You're not family. So she told mom. Either way, I'm taking Ollie with me. If you still want to live with him, fine, go ahead. And she took me with her. As soon as we left, my dad invited his mom and sister, who, by the way, was still single, to start living with him. I heard he cleared out our rooms for them. Not sure if mom saw that coming. Either way, things got even harder for her. Still, she lived with him, but during the day when my sister wasn't home, she came over and complained to me about how tough things were back home. But my sister told her to leave him many times. It was my mom's decision to keep living there. But she still comes over when my sister's not around and complains about dad, grandma, and my aunt. Plus, she started talking bad about my sister too. It was pretty tough on me. At first it was nice to see her, but all she did was complain. So soon enough, I got pretty tired of seeing her. My sister always told me how much she loved me. She said I could count on her no matter what. Come home with me! But mom tried to convince me to come back every time. But dad was still dad. He didn't consider us to be his real family. I had no idea what to do. And even if I went back with her, then what? What was her plan? My sister was the only one who protected me. Maybe mom just wanted someone on her side back home. Anyways, I knew it was a bad idea, so I never went back. Back then, I was so scared about losing a place I can call home. I always waited for my sister to come home. Even when she called and told me, I'm gonna be late, don't wait up for me. I waited, staring at the door worried. Then mom ended up moving out and started living with us. She got a job too. After mom left, dad got sick, probably because his mom and sister spoiled him with mom gone. A few years later, dad passed away. I have to look after him. He can't take care of himself. Mom was always worried about him, even after she moved out. But my sister always said it was his own fault. After dad passed, we inherited his house. Your sister is unbelievable, my grandma said to me. My sister kicked them out of the house and sold the property. Maybe it was her way of getting revenge on them. My sister always told me, You don't have to worry about a thing. But looking back, it must have been tough looking after her mom and little sister like that. I realize that now. Once, she said to me, If you could cook, clean, and do the laundry for me, it would be really helpful. So, I did. I wasn't very good at it at first, but I did my best. But my sister told me it was delicious. But the thing is, it couldn't have been delicious. I was terrible at cooking. Still, she was always nice to me like that. I love my sister. But mom, your sister is cold. She abandoned her own father. She always talked bad about my sister. I didn't really like that. Apparently, dad used to be nice to her when her parents were still alive. 
My sister told me the same thing, but I was too young to know that side of him. My sister is much older than me. Apparently, mom thought that having a baby might change him back to the way he was. But dad didn't change. He didn't even see us as his real family. And my sister was the only one who stood up for me and protected me, not mom. She was old enough to live on her own, so she could have just left me, you know? But mom was always talking bad about her behind her back. I really didn't appreciate that. Fast forward a few years. Today, my sister is happily married. She moved out when she got married. She still invites us over from time to time. Her husband is really nice and they have a beautiful daughter. And she still cares about me a lot. Are you eating okay? How are things? Things okay with mom? She still worries about me all the time. As for mom, she still talks bad about my sister behind her back, but I just try to ignore her. Every time she complains about her, I try to tell her otherwise, but all she says is, you were just a kid back then. She was too young to raise you, but she took you away from me anyways. But honestly, my sister did raise me. She was the only one who helped me. Mom still says that she could have raised me better. Apparently, she's not very happy with the way I turned out because I always disagree with her. But to my sister, she always says, Sorry for everything. I just want you to be happy, dear. I can't tell my sister that mom secretly despises her, but mom's good mom act is frustrating to watch too. And sometimes she tells me, Unlike your sister, you can't really do much, so you might not be able to find a husband. But don't worry, you've got me. Pretty annoying, right? And she says bad things about me all the time, even when I'm right in front of her. My friend once told me that my mom probably thinks that I'm useless and that she only had me because she wanted to improve her relationship with her husband. I think so too. Mom was dependent on dad, and to her, dad was her top priority. And now she nags at me all the time. It was pretty annoying. And when dad died, it was my sister who took my mom in. When dad's mom and sister took over the house, it was my sister who saved her, not me. But how can she say all those horrible things about her? I just don't get it. Honestly, I feel bad for mom. She's such a weak person. After dad died, she now depends on me, complaining about my sister who saved her in the first place. But the thing is, I'm moving out soon. I'm getting my own place. My sister helped me find a nice cheap place. For some reason, mom always thought that I'd live with her forever. But all she does is complain about stuff and talk bad about my sister. No thank you. And she always tells me how depressing it is to look at my face, so... But I'll be gone soon, so she won't have to suffer anymore. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more. It's probably your fault. You're not family.